Oh, wingless fool. Some of Falcon's new bread and butters are single hit neutral air into basically everything. Down throw into up air. Up throw into uh, up air. Raptor boost in neutral and a whole bunch of other stuff. Fun fact, did you know you can act out of Aerial Raptor Boost? Wait, 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 wait. Hey! Hey, it works! We have side B true combos. Oh, baby. I mean, because we can act out of aerial rapper moves, we can just chase them and do other stuff. Like, like I just demonstrated there. Like, uh. Either way, thank you so much for the donation. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I love this game! Yes! <laughs> also, fun fact, front down air combos into front hand back end, so that's great. Okay, so, uh, it looks like Naren to up tilt at the ledge just kills him. Rest in peace. Also, that is so good. Run up up tilt as a neutral option is amazing for Falcon. Watch this kill confirm. I'll give you a hint, it involves the hug. Ah, I messed up. Yeah, I deserve that. Do it again! Up behind a shield. Tasty stuff. Um, the more I play this game, the more I love it. Delicious. What did other players rank Falcon? I don't even care, Superhead God. They don't know what I know, so it doesn't matter. The only opinions I'm gonna take seriously are those that that saw the potential in Falcon. Thank you, Optic uh, Krajab, by the way, for following the stream. Oh, I'm loving Falcon. He feels incredible, honestly. Something I figured out is when people DI down and away off of down throw neutral air, you can actually do buff or turn around or buffer B reverse raptor boost as a true combo follow up when uh, you won't be able to follow up with more nares. I will demonstrate. Or uh, things like that. Hey Suzuki, welcome to the stream. Another interesting thing is uh, ah, you can. Uh, you can do downward angled F tilt, run up, run up a uh, double jab lock into forward smash, and it's a true combo. So if they don't tech the uh, F tilt, they just die. Because you can true combo it into that. Like being able to run up F tilt 
is an absolute godsend for this character. I don't think I realized just how important it was until I really started messing around with it. Like, we can run... Also, Raptor Boost being faster means that it's an actual neutral option, especially since it's relatively safe on shield now. Like, if you do buffered jabs out of Raptor Boost on shield, I believe you can usually trade with anything they try and throw out. Oh, run up down tilt is amazing, Simon. Like, I really like it at kill percents for Falcon, because a lot of times in Smash 4, if they were at really high percent, you didn't necessarily have a good thing you can chase them with. But now you can just run up down tilt them, and then if that doesn't flat out kill them, they'll be so far off stage that with everyone's recoveries being worse, you can just like go off stage and back air them or whatever. And it's pretty easy because they'll be so far away that they'll have very few options. And it'll be pretty easy to cover what they have. This is actually the best thing he has is... Falcon being able to run up F tilt? We have a mid-range poking tool! For the first time ever, that's not hot garbage. It's wonderful. I'm trying to figure out what the best falloffs for this are right now. Like, it might be uh, this into like buffered raw back air. Because even though you can do this, like, it seems really hard to get proper falloffs out of it. It might just end up being the, the ideal way of using like turn around up tilts for instance is going to be stuff like suppose a, a sonic is trying to land on you what this means is you could like turn around and then do that into aerial chasing and things like that no it's definitely taking some getting used to also another fun fact is uh for times where uh, neutral air isn't necessarily going to link into knee with the level of reliability that you like what you can do instead is you can do a short hop single hit nair into up B and it's a true combo that will kill by the ledge. Also shoutouts to Falcon's up B having significantly buffed knockback. Look, that killed! That killed! And that'll do it. Yeah, the thing is, Smash Ultimate Falcon is just... He's, his very, he's very much his own character. Like, there aren't any other Falcons he really compares that much to. I know, Grace and Glory, we can actually just up B, and it's not a hot garbage. Plus, it puts them in tumble from zero, so we can up the outer shield at zero, and it's not a death sentence. Instead, we just deal some damage and continue on with our lives. Um, yeah, I feel like the main thing that separates fighting Pikachu in this game to fighting Pikachu in the previous is... Honestly, one move by itself makes all the difference in the world. Well, two moves, actually. Downward angled F tilt. And, uh. Downward angled F tilt, grab actually hitting pancaking Pikachu. And then Raptor Boost having armor and all that other stuff makes it to where we can kind of just throw out Raptor Boost as a way of winning neutral against Pikachu. Die, stupid little rodent. This is what you get for all the abuse Falcon had to endure from Pikachu in uh, Smash 4. I know, Grace and Glory. I think Falcon will probably do pretty well against... Or maybe not pretty well, but I think there's a good chance Falcon could go relatively even with Pikachu and Pichu in this game. Ah, oh, that was almost it. Oh well.
See, we can just, we have actual options against short characters that are good in this game. So I'm really not too worried about that matchup. Plus, we kill them so much earlier than they kill us. We're faster and we have longer legs, so we can outspace them to a decent extent. Yeah, we can outrange Pikachu and Pichu, we kill them earlier, we're faster. And we have actual good options against short characters now with downward angle and F-tilt, grab working properly. And Raptor Boost being a good tool in neutral, that'll help us beat out a lot of their options. Like, see, look at this! It's the truth! They still combo us pretty hard though in there. They're gonna edge guard us really well too. But our other tools are just so much better that I feel like that's okay. Wow, that killed. Pichu is so light. Also, yeah, Grace and Glory, something I found that's re interesting recently is that you can do up smash at 0% into up tilt and then it combos into grab. On certain characters. Up smash, up tilt, grab, and then if you're on a battlefield stage, you can do up throw and to up air land on the platform, do instant shield, and if they try and throw out an aerial, you can parry that into like falling up, up air through the platform knee. Or if it's not on one of those stages, you can just do down throw into up air, up air, and then just chase them or whatever. Things like that. Whoa! D wait, how did I... How did I beat that? Also, that S smash didn't just kill. I think he's better at Dragon Hazard. It definitely takes some getting used to, though. He's he's so different. Plus, I feel like Falcon in Smash 4 was a relatively easy character mechanically. And what made him difficult was being successful with him at high levels of play required a lot of uh, learning. But... Falcon in this game feels like he's hard on both fronts. They took away his teleport grab, so he's not a cheese character anymore. So instead of him being like dash grab and fa falling up air to the character like he was in Smash 4, they slightly nerfed uh, his jab, up air, and dash grab, and then they just made everything else in his kit so much better. To where... He actually just has so many neutral options now, and it's wonderful. It's really taking some time to get used to the new Falcon. He's he's so different. But the more I play him, the more I love him. I used to... Like, the first few days, I was really confused as to what I was supposed to be doing with him, but it's all starting to feel a lot better. Although, my punish game is still nowhere near what I want it to be. Like, uh, the Nair trains aren't working quite to the same extent that I want them to yet. Okay, I think I, okay, okay. Just like all that good stuff works pretty well. Oh, I figure out why it wasn't working for, before. It's a uh... ah yes, okay. So the way the reason it wasn't working before was because when I was doing Nair trains. I was doing them the way that you would buffer them in Smash 4, where you would land with a Nair, or no, you would land with up air into like grab Nair, and you would go forward and then fast fall down. The way you want to do it in this game is actually in reverse. So what you do is you do this, you fast fall immediately, and then you press forward. The reason for this is you're uh, buffering his forward dash so that you can move faster out of it with the Nair. 
Since the timing on a lot of earlier percent combos is a little bit tighter, but still possible, this means that you have to land specifically like that. So you're fast following the Nair, and then you're buffering a dash forward and into another Nair. And then you just rinse repeat that process to chain Nairs into the, each other. Ledge trumping is a thing in Ultimate? It is. Something I really want to test, but I'm unsure how of, is... I have a theory that when you ledge trump people in this game, that if you do it properly and they DI to where they come on stage, you might have enough frame advantage to where it's possible to do down air into knee as a punish. Or like down air F smash or down air up smash or, you know, possibilities. Yeah, Spartacus, the way you want to trigger a lot of your follow-ups, especially off of Nair in this game, is uh, you just need to focus on buffering a lot of your movement. Like the new buffer system, at first I disliked it a lot, but the more I mess with it, the more I like it. There's a lot of really interesting interesting stuff that exists as a consequence of it being the way it is. Raptor boost is just the truth, period. Like this move is so good now. That's what you get, I read his drift. Whoops. <laughs> Reading directional air dodges with the knee is so satisfying. Guess what? Up air knee is still a true combo. Here it comes! Here it comes! Come on, lag, not now! Please! Ah. All right, understandable. Nice tech. But can you do it again? How about again? More up B for good measure. <laughs> 